Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java series, uh, today we are going to see how we can run the test cases in parallel across multiple browsers by using the Docker containers. We have already seen the similar concept if you would have observed in uh, our last session where we have used the standalone Docker containers and where we have run multiple browsers in parallel like the Chrome and Firefox were running in parallel. But what about this scenario? If I have 10 different test cases which I want to run the similar set in Chrome and also to the Firefox, but I want to run those 10 test cases in parallel for each of the browser. Okay, so that is something which we need to see. There is some minimal changes that we need to do to our Docker, uh, Docker file and that will help us to run those test cases in parallel. Okay, so let's try to see that. Now just to recap, how do, how do we really use the Docker Compose file? Now if you see that there is a standalone Chrome, Firefox is there and we were using the ports actually. Now 442 is depending on the which is uh, redirecting to the Firefox port and Chrome is for 444. Okay, oh, so sorry, 441 actually. And these are for the VNC, the no VNC browser port, right? But what I'm going to do today is that Anyway, these two will be running in parallel for sure. But along with that, the test cases in each of these particular containers will also run in parallel. Okay. Now for this, now to run each test cases in parallel and across multiple browser, we have seen in our immediate previous session by using the TestNG parameterization concept. If you remember our last session, we have seen parallel equal to test. That means that this set and this set will be running in parallel and the individual test cases also will run in parallel because of the parallel equal to classes. And we have seen how we have integrated that into this base test, these parameters and all those things. Now the same, no need to really change anything into your framework. It is just the, what do you call the standard, the Docker Compose standalone only we need to change it. Okay, now the first thing is that the last time we have seen this Docker Compose and today's date, the Selenium standalone Do uh, Chrome actually got changed. The version got changed. Simply, I'm just putting a latest version actually by this time, whatever the version it is available. I think it is 4.7. Let me see into the tag section. And uh, so the latest, whatever you see that, right? Now here, the Chrome browser is 96 actually. So I'm not going to use that, but rather what I'm going to do is that I'll take the Selenium version 4.7.2. Now this is what I'm going to use it here. Okay, now the same thing, we will have uh, the Chrome as well. So uh, I'll just copy paste this one and paste it here and you should get the Firefox and you can see here and go to the tags and then let's see what is the Selenium version. Yes, it is also 4.7.2. So I'll just copy paste this one. Okay, fine. Now to run these test cases in parallel, right? Now we need to use a parameter into this particular container that is nothing but the max session. Okay, max session is nothing but it determines like how many browsers will be running in parallel for this particular container. That is what we are going to see that. And for this actually I have already created a particular blog actually. You can go back and refer to that which is combining of this particular video session and the last session which we have discussed. I have very clearly mentioned everything. Now if you see here we are giving something called as SC node max sessions equal to something. Now this is basically a environment parameter. Now if you remember in the into the hub and node grid concept, we have used the environment. The same thing I'm going to use it here also. So I'll just come back here. You have to make sure that the, the indention is correct. For Chrome, you can see there is a tab and all these indentions should be correct. Now for this environment, the parameter should be again indented. I think two spaces, you can see that one, two, like this two spaces and this means that it is a list of options. Now 
SCVNC no password it is basically when you want to re see the live running right by using the camera icon if you remember that it doesn't ask you any kind of password if you keep this particular VNC no password equal to one now the same thing so at this moment because I have three test cases right if you see that I'm just putting it as a three now you can put like five six but then make sure that your container should have that much of memory to launch that many browsers that is just one thing you need to make sure that but at this moment i'm keeping it as a three i think normally it is it goes to two to three whenever it is you are running into your local or into the aws containers as well okay now firefox and chrome both i've kept it as vnc no password equal to one and the max session is three it means that either chrome or firefox only three browsers can run in parallel in each of these containers fine now i don't need to really do any kind of change here i have already made all these changes now the next thing is that i need to download and run this particular docker containers now to run this particular docker container right i need to make sure that my docker desktop is up and running now for this we have already installed the docker desktop now i am turning it on actually now here you can see that now my docker engine is starting once it is up and running i can run the docker command yes now it is running and now here i'll go to the docker directory and i will say that docker compose okay hyphen f the file name what is the file name actually so that is standalone now standalone up hyphen d in detached mode so that the logs will not be printing here okay now because it is the new containers that or the new docker images i'm downloading right it will take some time so let's wait and by the time it is downloading right let me show you another way also now if you see that this driver factory class right all these things we have taken as 444 only because hub and node always uses the 444 but in case of your docker compose standalone right this uses the 441 in case of chrome and in case of firefox it uses the 442 actually now what i can do now to run this particular uh, standalone containers right into that i need to change this one now for chrome it is actually 4441 and here if it is firefox it has to be triple four two actually see even these things also we can make it as a dynamic actually like how we are taking this browser parameter right here we can have another parameter you can do this one actually parameter name equal to you can just say port port and then the value equal to see this is a uh, firefox right so i can say that i want this particular port to use that you can even do that okay now i'm not going to read actually all these things but how we are taking this particular what you call browser right the same thing you can even take these things also inside your uh, code actually that one and here this should be one and you can do that exercise actually if no parameter is sent from here you can take the default as 4444 only okay that is how you can specify that okay now you can see that the docker containers are now downloaded and up and running and you can see that both of these containers are now running okay now the next thing is that i need to first make sure that the dashboard actually the grid now let me go to the local host now see in this case i cannot run in 44 there is no 444 port actually here if i want to run as a chrome because these are standalone right i need to get individual you can see that and you can see the magic here the max concurrency it is coming from the max instances which we gave as a three so at each time it will only take three browsers in parallel now the same thing let's see the firefox container as well and you can see firefox here firefox browser and max concurrency is three now whatever the test cases we will run right those can be visualized from the sessions tab let me show you that okay now to execute that i will write maven test hyphen d i'll copy paste this particular 
line equal to this testng.xml because without that I cannot execute in parallel. Now there is one thing I want to run it in inside a docker container right. So for this do you guys remember we have to use this remote as our platform actually then only it will run into this remote web driver. So it means that a hyphen D platform you have to make sure that the spelling has to be correct and remote and this platform is coming from app.java file if you guys remember that uh, local is the default but because I want to run it in docker container I need to make it as a remote now enter and if everything goes fine yes now running test and let me refresh these things and you can see that uh, and all these three browsers are running in parallel within this particular container and you can see it is not even asking any password to preview that the same thing here three browsers are in parallel within the same container and no password this is for Firefox this is for Chrome three times like this it will be running all these things and it executed so fast I think the third one was taking some time and you are done with that. So that is how you can run these test cases in parallel. You can customize like uh, how many test cases are there you have and based on that you have to specify the count of that actually here and that many browsers it will be running in parallel. So this is a quicker way of uh, specifying the parameters into the docker container or the docker compose file and try to run that particular docker image and you can run these test cases. Now it doesn't matter if it is Chrome, Firefox or Edge, you can have as many as browser images you can download and then change as per that. Now at this moment I have only Chrome and Firefox to deal with. You can have another condition for your Edge browser as well. Okay. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it actually for this particular session. We will also see, see actually the same concept we can use for hub and node also. Now here also if you see at the first time when we discussed, we were executing these test cases in parallel actually, browsers in parallel. Now in each browser it was running in your what do you call in sequence now we will see also what are the minimal changes we can do to this particular hub and node and how does really this looks like okay and you don't really need to worry about individual uh, grid actually here you can have one grid that holds all the browsers and all the test cases will be running in parallel okay so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel we will be seeing some more interesting topics Thank you for watching.